Hello, and welcome to this week's Let's Talk Meshings Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In Pointwise version 18.1, a new feature named Build Blocks was added that provides tools that allow users to quickly create far field, refinement, and voxel block types. The refinement and voxel block types were specifically designed with overset grids in mind, and so they are only available when an overset assembler has been configured within the Attributes tab of the Overset panel. The Build Blocks task is selection sensitive and requires that at least one domain or block be selected before it becomes available to use. The Build Blocks panel can be accessed from the Create menu or by selecting one of the options from its toolbar shortcut after selecting domains of the extra 300 model. For this example, we're focusing on how to create structured and unstructured refinement blocks. So after selecting one of these options, the Build Blocks panel appears. As with the other block types that you can create with the Build Blocks tool, the extents of the selected entities are automatically computed and listed in the table at the top of the panel. A preview of the refinement block's outer extents is shown in the display window. Unlike with the far field block type, with both refinement block options, the domains or blocks that users select are not used to form any faces of the refinement block that is created. Instead, a user's selection is only used as a reference in determining the grid spacing for the refinement block. Entry fields within the margins frame allow the margins for the boundaries in each coordinate direction to be changed from their initial values. With one or more symmetry planes selected, you can constrain the margins applied to only those directions that aren't defined as planes of symmetry in the pull-down menus. In the Spacing's Controls frame, users can specify how the grid spacing on block boundaries is determined. With the constant from size field option selected, either the minimum, average, or maximum spacing of the selected domains will be used whereas the variable from size field option uses the spacing on selected domains, any overlapping sources, the decay value, and background spacing to compute the cell spacing for the refinement block boundaries. When all options for the block have been configured, click OK or Apply to save the block. The volume grid for the block can then be generated by simply selecting it and clicking the Initialize Toolbar shortcut or by entering the Unstructured Solver via the grid menu. If you like this video, then be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, then drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter using the link in this video's description. Thank you and have a pleasant Tuesday.